The FDA advisory panel is meeting tomorrow to debate if there's enough proof that a booster shot of Pfizer's vaccine is safe and effective for the general public. Meantime, local health departments and hospitals are preparing. Ellie has more for us now. Adam, President Biden's plan was for booster shots to go out to the general public beginning next week, but the additional shots have some mixed reaction. Some national health leaders say they would add additional protection, but others say now is not the time. I spoke to a local doctor to hear her thoughts. As we wait for federal guidance, hospitals and health departments are preparing to give out COVID-19 booster shots. With the contagious Delta variant and breakthrough cases, many are in support. So I think that there are, is value in a third dose, but the timing of the third dose and how they roll it out, I think needs to be carefully considered. The CDC has recommended the booster shot eight months after a person's second dose of their vaccine, but experts say this timeline could depend on the vaccine one receives. It's looking like maybe Moderna has a little bit more of a durable immunity. So. Pfizer, they might say eight to 10 months. Moderna, they might say a year and a half. The booster shot comes after studies have shown vaccine protection wanes over time. But doctors say even if you got your vaccine earlier this year, you're still protected. What we don't want is people feeling panicky that something magically happens at eight months and they're suddenly not protected at all. It's not the case. To help administer booster shots, Governor Kathy Hochul announced basic EMTs in New York can take a training to do so. But with staffing shortages, some companies are concerned. We are running, you know, a quarter to a half the capacity on some shifts. You know, nights and weekends are very, very tough. Um, and EMS providers in general were exhausted. If these booster shots get the green light, doctors expect them to roll out similar to previous vaccines with those at highest risk first, like those over 65 and frontline health care workers. Live in the studio, Allie Peters, News 8. Very interesting, Allie, thanks. Meanwhile, Moderna has also asked the FDA to allow a booster dose of its own vaccine. Currently, more research is being done on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. By the way, for the latest on COVID-19, both in our area and beyond, you can get everything over at our website, rochesterfirst.com. When you get there, we have a whole section dedicated to COVID-19 and the pandemic.